What's going on, everybody? It is your boy, Dylan Matthews, back at it again with another hometown take. Today, I am talking about the NFL and Raheem Mostert, a guy who is ready to get out of the San Francisco 49ers because he wants more Monday. And I'm giving you five reasons why he should be in a Falcons uniform and why he can help the Falcons. So let's go ahead and get it started. So, reason number one, Raheem Moser would be the best insurance policy for Todd Gurley. We only have Todd Gurley on a one-year deal, and we all know about Todd Gurley's knee issues. So, Raheem Moser coming to the Atlanta Falcons means that, one, Todd Gurley does not have to carry the whole load for the Falcons running game. Obviously, we still have Brian Hill. We still have Ido Smith. We still have Quadra Allison, but those guys are not, you know, perennial type running backs. They're still trying to find their winning league. Brian Hills ha has had some success, but if we get Raheem Moster, a guy who has done it before and done it on the big stage, I'll get into that a little bit later in this video, but Raheem Moster has done it. He's proved himself this season. He would be a good insurance policy for Todd Gurley. He would take a lot of pressure off of Todd Gurley, give him a lot more rest. So that is one reason why the Falcons should get Raheem Mostert. He would take a lot of pressure off Todd Gurley. A good insurance policy for Todd Gurley since we only have him for one year. Number two, Raheem Mostert would make a great one-two punch for Todd Gurley. Todd Gurley, Raheem Mostert would be a lot like Devontae Freeman and Tevin Coleman in 2016. Yes, I know we look back to 2016 a lot. We can't remake 2016. We don't have Kyle Shanahan. I know that we don't have the same pieces we had in 2016. But having Raheem Mostert, Todd Gurley, having offensive coordinator that we have now, we can. he likes to run, so we can run the ball with Todd Gurley, Raheem Mostert. We can make some things happen. We can make some things shake. Come on, Falcon Space, you know we can make some things shake. Todd Gurley running in between tackles. Can you get outside when he needs to? Raheem Mostert can take, like I said earlier, a lot, a, lo a lot of that load off of Todd Gurley. If we can make some things shake, we can make some things happen, that would be a great one-two punch. It would be something really like 2016 when we had Devontae Freeman and Tevin Coleman. It would be Todd Gurley, Raheem Mostert, come on now. We can make something happen. We could get that magic back like we had in 2016. So, number two reason, make that one-two punch happen again. We can re- make that one-two punch that we had Devontae Freeman and Tevin Coleman, and we can make that in Todd Gurley and Raheem Mostert. Number three, we can't rely on just the passing game. That's not going to win us championships. So we can't rely on just Matt Ryan throwing to Julio Jones, Calvin Ridley, um, Hayden Hurst. We can't rely on that. We have to have a good running game. We tried to rely on just the passing game last year. Devontae Freeman wasn't getting the job done. And we were a 7-9 team. Yes, we went 6-2. Um, the last eight games of the season, but we have to rely on that running game and we have to be able to trust in that running game We have to be able to help that get us going early on in the season and early on in the game We have to we have to be able to establish that running game if defenses know we're just gonna pass the ball We I mean we're predictable if we know we're just gonna if defense know we're just gonna pass It's not it's not gonna work for us. It's not gonna happen. So we have to be able to establish a run this year. And Raheem Moster will help us establish a run. Him and Todd Gurley will be able to get it done. We have to be able to keep defenses honest. And if we can't do that, then we might as well chuck our season up to another 7-9 season. The NFC South and the NFC overall is just too difficult and too good of a division to not have a viable running game. So we have to be able to have some type of running game to be competitive this season it's not going to work just be able to throw the ball around yes we have a good passing game yes we have an elite quarterback yes we have the the best wide receiver in the league but we have to have an elite running game to be able to get the job done so that's number three number four Raheem Mostert moved up from the third string running back to the top guy last season I mean he started as the number three running back um just some stats for him Stats in 2019, 16 games, no starts, 137 carries, 772 yards, eight touchdowns. He also had 14 receptions, 180 yards, two touchdowns. 
And this was a guy who had zero starts last year. He still almost put up a thousand yards. A guy who didn't start. We need a guy like that. A guy who doesn't have to start and can still put up numbers. Come on, Falcons fans. You know we can use Raheem Mostert. So to recap, number one, he's an insurance policy for Todd Gurley. We only have him for a year. Raheem Mostert, we can sign him to a two, maybe three-year deal. We could double up his money. He's only getting paid $3 million now in San Francisco. We, we have $11, $11 million in cap space, so we can give him that dough, that bread. Um, number two, it's a great one-two punch. Todd Gurley, Raheem Mostert, we can remake what we had in 2016. Number three, relying on the passing game is not going to get the job done for us. We got to be able to establish a running game this season. Otherwise, teams are going to shred us. They're going to know what we're coming with. Number four, um, he went from a third string running back to the top guy, 220 yards, four touchdowns in the NFC Championship game against Green Bay. I mean, come on now. What else do you guys want to know? Let's sign Raheem Mostert. We can get him probably for on the low, on the cheaper side. Let's pull the plug. Thomas Dimitrov, Dan Quinn, pull the plug on Raheem Mostert. And number five, the Falcons window is closing. I said it earlier in one of my other videos, the Falcons window is closing. You got to do what you got to do now to get the job done. We got to redeem ourselves from that. 2016 Super Bowl, we got to get that ring. The time is now, guys. We got Dante Fowler Jr. We got Matt Ryan. We got Julio Jones. We got Calvin Ridley. Get the job done. Let's get it. Get that ring. Let's get Raheem Mostert to ensure things. Okay? Like, comment, subscribe. You guys already know what to do. Follow your boy. Underscore Dylan Matthews on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Let's get it. Get Raheem Mostert.